I've spent the last 12 days in San Francisco experiencing the whole startup and hacker vibe. And there's a saying which goes in Silicon Valley. What the nerds are working on today is what the world will be using 10 years from today. And that has been true for every single technology that you will see. And one thing which I saw everywhere around the city in San Francisco was generative AI. There were companies advertising about their generative AI services. There were companies talking about what is possible with generative AI. There was even big tech starting tons of events and hacking competitions to create this culture of people who are well versed in building generative AI applications. So long story short, there's a huge demand for people who can use generative AI to build applications and can also basically thrive and build this ecosystem in general. Some of the smartest brains are working on generative AI services. I recently met AIR4 of IIT JE 2009 and he is the senior ML engineer at Google Gemini. I was just interviewing Perplexity AI founder Arvind and he was talking about how people are willing to fund him because he's solving a new problem which has huge potential. I just found out that there's a company called Grok which got funded $640 million which is also in the hardware generative AI space competing with NVIDIA which means it's an in-demand field that you can get into today and have massive potential in the next 5 to 10 years. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and if that interests you, this video is going to be a breakdown on how can you get started with generative AI, what are the foundation skills you would need and what courses you can use for completely free to learn them in just one video. Watch till the end and I'll get started with the first thing and that is the foundations. Now again, generative AI is built on the very basic component which is AI, artificial intelligence. So even before you start learning about what generative AI is, you need to first focus your energy into understanding artificial intelligence and what it really means. What that means is you need to first have a basic understanding of mathematical concepts. Simple concepts like differentiation and integration along with matrices and determinants, basically the whole linear algebra part. This is something you might have learned in your 12th grade, but if not, Please check out a few of lectures on 3 blue 1 brown as well as free code camp to understand the basics of these mathematical concepts but once you know that the next step is to understand about python as a programming language it's the most simple language that you can start off with if you want to explore the world of ai of course you can use other languages but this is the most simple and beginner friendly language to get started with so learn about python the basics of python get a basic idea of using python for building functions and loops and objects and classes so that you have an idea of oops concepts along with a basic programming language after that, learn about data analysis. Again, you can learn Python and data analysis with this excellent course on Free Code Camp. Again, link will be in the description. This course not only teaches you Python, but also tells you about how to use it for data analysis using the three most popular libraries, which is NumPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. So you will now have an idea for how can you take data in tabular form and use these arrays and make sense of it all. And at the end, display the results using matplotlib library in various formats like bars and pie charts. But that will be the most basic foundation that you would need. Once you understand this, the last one is reinforcement learning in which you create an incentive for that particular character in that environment to learn to play the game and to win. It's basically used for various environments and games most importantly i used it to build a simple flappy bird ai game which is the most important thing to understand in reinforcement learning okay so now you have a basic idea using that harvard cs50 course you should be able to now build simple ml models using regression or classification clustering or even reinforcement learning so that is the basis right so i am assuming that you have learned all of these things and now you want to get into the world of generative AI. But even before you get started with generative AI, it's important to learn about convolutional neural networks, CNNs, to understand how does image recognition happen. And secondly, learn about natural language processing. The first one, CNNs, you can learn with this amazing Stanford course called CS231N, which is a lot more mathematical and heavy 
but go through it and understand the basics. And there is an amazing course by Deep Learning AI on natural language processing in which you learn about how can you analyze data and understand the sentiment. You can also learn how to find autocomplete text, right? So if someone is typing something, what would be the next word that you see on your keyboard? That is a natural language processing model. So you learn to build all of these models. You have a basic understanding with all of this. Now let's explore the world of generative AI. And to first have a basic understanding of what generative AI is and how it works. There is an excellent one, one and a half hour long course on deep learning AI by Andrew NG, in which he goes into depth talking about prompt engineering and how these simple models like ChatGPT and Claude really work from scratch. So go through that, you'll have a basic understanding of how to prompt, how do these prompts really work, how does text generation really happen, and that will give you a basic understanding of the whole space of generative AI. Part two, the second course is going to be from Andre Kapathi. Now, Andre is a teacher in Stanford. I went to Stanford and I heard that he actually taught to a lot of students and he's like one of the best teachers out there. He's like the OG. He's considered as like the god of LLMs to learn from basically over there. So again, a great teacher to learn from and you can access the entire video on his own YouTube channel. He has talked about neural networks and the one I'm talking to you about is how do LLMs really work? So there's an entire video in which he talks about how large language models really work and how are they different from other models that you've been learning about before, right? The basic thing which differentiates AI models before and generative AI is that the other models are more about pattern recognition. And in the case of generative AI, it's all about pattern creation, right? So in the previous one, it is predicting something and it is analyzing something. Here, it is actually creating a new thing, a new text, a new image, a new something, generative. You'll first learn about LLM training, which is how do you train a large language model? And second is LLM inference. How can you use a already existing LLM in your own app that you are trying to build? So these are the two elements. Secondly, you'll also learn about building these custom LLMs from scratch, fine tuning and everything in between. It will be an information dense video by one of the best teachers out there in the field of generative AI. So go through that and now you have a basic understanding of how LMs really work. Now, if you're serious about mastering this field, you have to check out the generative AI courses at Simply Learn. Simply Learn collaborates with leading universities and companies to offer you industry focused courses that can help you become job ready in today's market. There are seven generative AI courses which are a great starting point for you as a beginner. The applied generative AI specialization is what stood out to me the most. In the 16 week program, you'll learn the basics of generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and even advanced concepts like model architecture, building LM applications, and much more. You will get to learn about the most in-demand tools with over 25 hands-on projects from top instructors and experienced professionals in this field. And the best part is that on completion of this course, you will receive a certificate and you can avail all of these courses from the comfort of your home. Check out the link in the description to learn more about these courses. The next course is by Free Code Camp, and this is where you learn about RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation, which is basically an AI framework in which you learn to have custom data with a LLM, which is already existing. So this is how you are customizing the LLM with your available data to you, right? So for example, you have to understand that most of the data that these companies have are private. It's their own intellectual property. And so each company now needs generative AI engineers who would create and fine tune the LLM with context of this data that that company actually has, right? So that is what your job is going to be. This particular course helps you get a basic idea of RAG and how it basically works. So you learn about everything from indexing, retrieval, generation, even query translation and everything around this part of creating a custom fine-tuned large language model with the private data that you have access to. Now, if you're someone who doesn't really care about the nitty gritties of generative AI and just wants to use it, like for example, I just turn on a bulb and it just turns on by the switch. I don't need to know the nitty gritties of how the whole thing works. How does the circuit really work? Where does the power come from? If that's you, the next two courses are going to be really helpful. The first one is from Microsoft and LinkedIn called as Career Essentials Using Generative AI, in which you learn to use Microsoft Copilot 
in all the areas of your life as someone who works at a company so if you are working in a company you would be using things like slides docs you would be using presentation you will be using all of these applications this course takes you on the application side how can you use microsoft copilot to generate text help you create presentations help you do all the things that you normally do faster right so it's a great application heavy course that you can use to get things done faster in your job and learn how to transform the way you work right so it talks first of all about how to use microsoft copilot and then talks about how can microsoft copilot be integrated into every single part of the microsoft 365 suite and they also have a course about ethics in generative ai which gives you a basic idea for how can you use generative ai responsibly and understand where it hallucinates and if it does then what do you do next so again a great course if you want to just apply generative ai in your day to day life the next up is by google so google has these three courses one is beginner intermediate and advanced in which it talks about how can you use gemini in your day to day life i think this is the most applicative one for me because i use the google suite as a whole right so i'm every single day using sheets using docs using my gmail and now gemini is integrated into all of these apps so if you can learn how to use generative ai gemini in this case to build presentations faster if you can learn how to create simple scripts simple captions faster on docs if you can learn how to use it for writing formulas faster on sheets that is going to save you a lot of time and make you stand out from everyone out there and the good thing about google is that they don't stop there right the advanced course takes you in depth talking about how can you use image generation models you learn to create image captioning models you learn about vector search and embeddings and you also learn about how can you take a rich document like a pdf and use gemini's multimodality and multidimensional features and capabilities to assess to identify to analyze the whole pdf document so lots of things to learn in this whole google course it has three courses beginner intermediate and advanced and each of these have a lot of things that you can learn from so again all of these courses are completely free you can check them out with the link in the description this was a basic idea for how can you get started in the field of generative ai in 2024 i hope this was helpful if you have any questions let me know below in the comment section also check out simply learn and their courses with the link in the description thank you so much for watching this video share this with a friend hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts of generative ai what are you learning in generative ai share this with a friend tag me on instagram at @ishan sharma 790 i'll see you in the next one